In this video, I'm gonna show you how 23 catchers drop their pop time by 0.1 or more in four weeks using my Drop Your Pop Time remote training program without having to rely on random drills that they found on the internet. By the end of this video, you'll learn exactly how they did it, how you can see results just like all of these guys, and how to apply for my program if you wanna train remotely with me one-on-one. -on -one. Just so I'm not wasting anybody's time, this video is only for catchers that have a dream of playing at the next level whether that's making a varsity team, getting the opportunity to earn a college scholarship, or maybe even the chance at making a professional roster. Catchers that understand the importance of the throw and controlling the running game and the benefit that that provides their team. Maybe you're a guy with a pop time that's higher than it should be. You've tried drills, you've tried coaching yourself, but the results haven't come as quickly as you would like. Maybe your pop time is above a 2-0 right now, and you know that with the proper training and guidance, you can get it down under a 2-0 and maybe even start seeing times that are sub one nine. If that sounds like you, keep watching until the end where I'll show you top performers like Sam Fishman, who went from a 2-3-2 two, two, to a 1-8-9, and Steven Nardelli, who went from a 2-2-1 two, two, down to a 1-9-4 pop time. If you're not that guy, you aren't willing to work with a coach who's been where you want to go and accomplish what you're trying to accomplish, you don't believe that you can see results from a remote training program, and you aren't willing to invest in your career to expedite your process. If that's you, go ahead, click a Away from this video, watch my other content. You'll get a ton of free value out of those resources that I've put out. My drop your pop time program is different from working with an in-person coach because quite frankly, this is a self-guided program. In this program, I've broken down the throw to second base into a simple, easy to follow and easy to implement training plan that is designed to build your throw from the ground up. In this program, my catchers follow a four week training split on each Monday of the program. They're presented with what I call learning modules where they will study these concepts and apply what they're learning into their drill progressions throughout the week. Within each learning module is a detailed analysis of exactly what and how they will be training throughout the week. I provide my athletes with these learning resources to help them understand the importance of each step in the throwing sequence and exactly how to apply these concepts and cues to their upcoming movement and throwing progressions. In week one, they'll learn about their lower half and the importance of creating and maintaining direction before the ball hits their glove and how everything that happens before the ball hits our glove is responsible for the success or the failure of our throw. After they've learned the importance of their lower half and the role that it plays in setting up a successful throw to second base, they progress into week two where they will learn how to build an efficient and concise transfer that allows them to get deeper into their throwing sequence before the ball hits their glove and sets them up to maximize the amount of scap retraction that they're able to get with their upper half and maximize the amount of hip separation they're able to achieve with their lower half. This helps them build maximum tension within their throw. After they've learned how to create and maintain direction in week one, leading them into an efficient and concise transfer in week two, they move into week three, where they will isolate their scap retraction and hip separation through a series of drills designed to maximize the amount of force that they're able to apply to the baseball and maximize the amount of time they're applying that force to the baseball, which leads to stronger and more accurate throws. Once they've understood and learned the importance of the first three steps in the throwing sequence and how each step complements the previous and upcoming step, we get into week four, which is solely focused on the rhythm and timing that is necessary to take what they've learned and apply it consistently to in-game situations. Over the past few months since launching my Drop Your Pop Time program, I've helped 23 catchers decrease their pop time by 0.1 or more. And by the time you're watching this video, there will have been even more guys who have achieved that same result. Side note, if you wanna keep up with the most recent client transformations, and success stories, make sure to follow along on my Instagram where I highlight clients that have dropped their pop time by 0.1 or more every single week. Without further ado, let's get into the client results. Of the 23 guys that have dropped their pop times by 0.1 or more in my program, 10 of those guys decreased their pop time between 0.1 and 0.2 seconds. 10 more guys decreased their pop time between 0.2 and 0.3 seconds. One guy decreased his pop time between 0.3 and 0.4 seconds. And one guy even decreased his pop time by over half of a second, totaling 5.79 seconds shaved off of pop times between these 23 guys with an average of a 0.24 decrease in pop time over those 23 guys. That's almost a quarter of a second decrease in pop times within four weeks of training with me. To put that into perspective, if you're a guy 
guy with a 2.24 pop time, you have a legitimate shot at getting your pop time down to around a two flat. If you're already at a two flat, you have the potential to decrease your pop time to a 176. What would that mean for your career and your ability to secure a starting spot and make a name for yourself at showcases and in games? On the screen now are all 10 guys who have decreased their pop time in the range of 0.1 to 0.2. The average of this group was a 0.16 decrease in pop time, and these are the top guys within that group. At the top of this list is Christian Galasso, who went from a 2.11 pop time to a 1.92 pop time. That's a 0.19 decrease in pop time over his four weeks of training. There were also three guys who saw a 0.18 decrease in pop time. There's Kendall Burns, who went from a 2.09 down to a 1.91. EJ Bailwitz, who went from a 2.07 to a 189 and Noah Brennan who went from a 222 down to a 204. On the screen next are the 10 guys that have decreased their pop time between the 0.2 to 0.3 range. And their average is a 0.25 decrease in pop time over the four weeks of training. The top guys in this time range are Jonathan Bertone, who went from a 227 down to a 199. That's a 0.28 decrease in pop time. Steven Nardelli, who went from a 221 down to a 194. That's a 0.27 decrease in pop time. And Cam Morrison, who came in at a 197 pop time and was down to a 171 at the end of his four weeks of training. That's a 0.2 two six decrease in pop time. Honorable mentions in this group are three guys that saw a 0.25 decrease in their pop times. Armani LaRusso, who went from a 217 down to a 192. Tyler Pegram, who went from a 209 down to a 184. And Jonah Norman, who came in at a 214 pop time and got all the way down to a 189 pop time. In the 0.3 to 0.4 range is Bubba Meredith, who went from a 239 pop time all the way down to a 20 four pop time. That's a 0.35 decrease in his pop time. And then the biggest jump is the 0.4 to the 0.5 range where we have Donnie Monahan who came in at a 297 and was able to decrease his pop time down to a 242. The guys that come through this program continue to shock me and absolutely crush it. I've had the honor of working with guys all across the country at different stages in their playing careers. From players like 11U Raiden Simon who went from a 231 down to a 219 or guys at the division one level like Cam Morrison who came in at a 197 and got all the way down to a 171 pop time. At this point the results are undeniable. I've put my heart and soul into this training program and the guys that have come through it and put in the work the way that this program was designed are proof of that. It goes to show if you have a strong work ethic are willing to follow a proven training method and put in the reps you can join this list of guys that have seen incredible results in my program. So if you're a catcher that's willing to do what it takes to achieve your goals, and you think that I can help you. You want to decrease your pop time in order to give yourself a chance at playing varsity, earning a college scholarship, or even having a crack at a professional roster. Or maybe you just want to have a respectable time to show at a showcase or an exposure tournament. And you have four weeks dedicated in order to get yourself there. Go ahead and book a call with me. The link is going to be in the description of this video. On that call, we'll go through your situation and make sure that I think I can help you drop your pop time. If I think you're the right fit, we'll dive into the details of the program and how everything is structured. Again, this is only for catchers that are willing to put in the work that it takes to achieve their goals and they're ready to to get after it. So at this point, you have two options. You can continue trying to figure out your throw on your own, or you can work with me in a program that has proven results and learn from all of my experiences and my failures along the way. Building the confidence to put up good numbers at a showcase and having the ability to repeat in game consistently is tough and would typically take you years of practice. If I could help you get there over the course of four weeks, what would this mean for your career? What would that mean for your playing time this spring? I only take on 10 guys a month, so if you're ready to get after it, book a call with me, the link is down below, and I'll reach out to you to see if I can help you.